hi guys welcome back today we are going to learn about uh, the BLE appearance and uh, the appearance is a really important characteristic of uh, Bluetooth and uh, it's uh, present in the advertisement packet so why do we need to include appearance and uh, what is appearance itself uh, I will explain that so let's start so appearance uh, feature is a uh, really important and uh, if we are implementing some standard profiles uh, then we can include some standard appearances defined by SIG in advertisement packet. SIG is the special interest group and uh, they have uh, some standard appearances so we can uh, select any one of them for example heart rate sensor or some uh, other appearances but uh, you have to make sure uh, we can only include one appearance uh, in uh, one device so appearance uh, will show a small logo uh, along with the device's data uh, this enhances the user experience of course uh, because uh, once uh, the user scans for the Bluetooth devices and our device uh, if it uh, reflects its appearance for example if it's a heart rate sensor then uh, it will show its appearance as a heart rate sensor so our devices can have uh, some logo on that so we will see that uh, in a short time once we are doing the programming for this and uh, we will see that we can uh, check uh, the standard appearances that we set for our devices for example the standard appearances there is a, a complete list of uh, standard appearances and uh, we can check it on the bluetooth's uh, official website and uh, uh, there is only one appearance uh, which is allowed uh, to be set for per one device so for example if you are setting your device to be a heart rate sensor device then uh, you can't uh, set it to another uh, appearance once the appearance of a device is set it cannot be changed so uh, this should be kept in mind uh, it never changes once you set it and uh, uh, to see what type of ap appearance we can set uh, we have to check uh, this uh, file this is ble types dot h and uh, this file contains all the standard appearances and uh, if uh, our appearance does not match any of the standards so we will have our devices appearance by default to unknown appearance so this is the standard appearance uh, that's uh, set uh, if uh, we are not setting any appearance from uh, this file so it will be unknown so right now in the previous code and the base code that we write in that uh, we did not set the appearance to any standard appearance so it will always show that the device's appearance is unknown so we will see how we can set it in the code and uh, to locate this file I have included the address uh, so in NRF SDK where you extract your SDK you will go into the components and then soft device and then in soft devices for your specific device for example you are using S140 then you go into its header and find the appearances or if you are using S132 then uh, in S132 go inside that and uh, there you will also find the same folder headers and in the headers you will find this file ble.h ble types.h file so uh, this file contains all of the appearances so now you can check the appearance and uh, you can implement any appearance uh, from there it's up to your application uh, if uh, so some uh, standard appearance is close to your application then you can uh, assign that uh, standard appearance otherwise you can uh, just uh, leave the appearance to be unknown so let's see the appearance setting there are two ways in the appearance setting either we don't include the appearance in the advertisement and uh, then we call the BLE advertisement in it and uh, in this way our appearance will be unknown uh, by the device by default and it would just uh, not include the appearance anymore if uh, we are uh, including the appearance in the advertisement uh, in advertisement we have to set the appearance to true uh, include appearance to true uh, we have to set this parameter and uh, then we have to initialize the advertisement but where do we include the appearance of the device if we are just setting it uh, setting the appearance to true in advertisement init function 
in this function we are just uh, including the appearance uh, uh, as a we are just uh, setting this flag to true uh, but uh, we have to set this appearance so we go into the gap uh, gap parameters initialization so in that function gap parameters init function in that function uh, we are going to include our uh, we, we are going to set our appearance so we will see that in the programming so now uh, let's start the programming and uh, let's see how it works okay guys now we will start the programming so first uh, go to this PC and here in the C directory we have NRF SDK so go into the NRF SDK go into the examples my projects and uh, we are just going to copy the base uh, uh, project so copy paste it here and uh, this time let's uh, rename it as now it's renamed let's go into the folder and uh, I'm using NRF 52840 so I will open PCA 10056 and here S140 is the soft device Sagar embedded studio and open the EM project file so first I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and now it's good to go so here we have our main co basic code and uh, let's go to the advertisement in it first we will go there and include a device appearance so if we go to advertisement in it function here we can see that uh, we have already included the appearance of the device so the device will have an appearance uh, by default unknown appearance will be given to the device if we don't set it in the gap uh, parameters initialization function here we are just telling that uh, include the appearance in the advertisement packet now let's uh, go to the gap parameter initialization gap uh, parameters initialization and here we have seen we have uh, uh, set the device name so after the device name we will set the device's appearance so let's add the code for the device appearance and uh, before adding the device appearance let's go and uh, see uh, what type of appearances are available so if I open my computer uh, this computer this PC and I will go into the C directory here I have NRF SDK 17 and if I go into the components if I go into the soft device here I have all the soft devices and uh, since I'm using S140 so I will go into this and here we have headers if I double click into this we have the BLE types dot h file here so uh, let's open this file in the Sager embedded studio let's zoom in a little and here are some uh, appearances of devices so Bluetooth appearance values and here is the link so you can see the link as well so BLE appearances are uh, for example the zero appearance is uh, for the unknown so whenever we set the flag of appearance uh, for advertisement to true uh, but we don't set it it will always be by default to unknown appearance or if your device's appearance does not match any of these uh, standard appearances then you can just uh, uh, set it to unknown appearance uh, for example let's uh, set it to a generic computer appearance so I will go into the main and here I will set the appearance so in order to set the appearance we need to use the function so let's use it here the function is stble gap appearance set and here we have to send the set the appearance value we will just uh, take it from BLE types so we are just going to paste in that name here let's use the app error check function and uh, let's save the code so uh, that's how we set the appearance and uh, now make sure your device is connected so let's uh, first build the code okay the code is built after the code is built go into the target click connect 
the target device is connected erase all and then download so once it's downloaded uh, we have to open the NRF Connect app. This time I'm not going to use the Wireshark. So we can also burn the firmware in our in our dongle uh, to work with the NRF Connect. So I'm, I have connected my dongle and now I'm just going to open the NRF Connect. Here I will just open the Bluetooth Low Energy. And uh, from here I will just select the device. So here it's telling me that uh, this one is the device. And uh, this is our dongle, uh, which is uh, here. And now let's start scanning to see uh, my device. So here is a Sam BT, which is my device. So let's see its appearance. And uh, here you can see its appearance is 8000. Let's connect with this device first. So it's connected. Now if I go to gap and if I see the appearance here, it uh, tells this is the appearance. Here we don't see any logo, but if we open this uh, in uh, our uh, mobile phone application for the Nordic NRF Connect, then we will see this on the Nordic's NRF Connect. So let's go there and let's see. And here is my device, which is a Sam BT. If I look at it, it's uh, showing uh, our computer logo here. If we see it, if you can see this logo. Uh, so it's showing a computer logo because uh, I have set it to generic computer type appearance and here we can see its appearance as well. And if we try to connect with this, go into the generic access and here is the appearance. If we read it and it's uh, telling that generic uh, computer and uh, so our device is being shown as a computer device. So th that's how we include the appearance and uh, you can set it uh, to any appearance you like. Uh, Ba it's uh, basically based on your application type so make sure you include the appearance if it's a uh, if your application type is similar to the uh, available appearances okay that's it for today guys hope so you have learned something new today if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel please do support me on my paypal and patreon Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video.